Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is a tutorial on how to create a place on Roblox. Very simple, very easy to do, but just in case you need some help doing it, uh, I have a tutorial for you guys. Um, so what, there's a couple ways to get to this. Uh, Roblox interface is kind of diffuse, confusing for me. I don't really like it. Um, I'm used to the old style type of stuff, just like the old studio, so I use plugins instead to do that. They're nice and modern. So there's two ways to get to this. Go to develop and then it'll bring you to places automatically and this is how you access all your other stuff or you can go to your Roblox page and manage places I recommend just clicking develop both the same thing though so you get all this other stuff but it automatically brings you to places so what you want to do is uh, what did I just do so you want to build new and then you want to choose what you're going to build so personal server that's basically like a place but you get what that is that's like your own personal private building place stamper or whatever you want to create it like I create some really advanced ones but uh, just let's just do place whatever you want I might have clicked personal server I don't know what I did so oh there's some new stuff right there okay so you want to either choose flat terrain or terrain or base play I don't recommend doing terrain unless you're, unless you're actually doing a terrain place uh, so go with base plate, and then you can also choose some maps. Don't do that stuff. Your place will look bad. Uh, and then make sure to name your place. Give it a description. Give it a genre. Stuff like that. Pretty simple. The name is very important. Description will help people find your place. Very important as well. And this is also somewhat important. Uh, so if somebody searches the category comedy or whatever category they are, uh, to help them narrow down to your place. So if you're like making a building game make sure to put building helps people find it more we will bring in a bit more traffic so uh, again this goes back to the other tab in develop of place and personal server you can also do this right here uh, playable devices if your uh, place is pretty heavy like a couple thousand parts or more and a lot of heavy stuff get rid of phone and tablet because they're not going to handle it and then choose your number of players um, I don't recommend going above 20 otherwise your place may become laggy if it's a very late game, what I mean by that is that it doesn't have that much stuff running in it, then make it a bit higher. Uh, depending on the game, whatever it is, you know, amount of players does make a huge difference. Uh, typically, if you have a low amount of players, your game will not be as immersive to people. So if you want to have a public game, you want people to play it, go everyone. And if you just want to have a nice private place, go to friends. Uh, it's not really private if you accept random people as your friends, though. So advanced settings, game, genre. Uh, not sure what the difference between that is, but all right. Uh, gear types, I don't recommend messing with this. Otherwise, people will just get in gear into your game and harass people with it. Unless you want to make like a gear fighting game or whatever. Or just make mis uh, miscellaneous gear, like personal transport with skateboards and stuff. But usually, Roblox does like multiple genres for these, so like a... Navigation enhancer, enhancer, for instance, will be like a deadly gear that will kill people. I don't know why they do that. So definitely don't do building tools either. That's really annoying. Copy locked. Yes, keep your place copy locked. That's very important. Always people can take access to your place and use it for themselves, which they'll probably lie about it and say that they built it. So comments allowed. Yes, uh, there's a ton of spammers out there. I know Roblox community is really annoying about the spammers, but... Uh, I would just allow them. You might find some useful comments in there. You can always remind people don't spam and stuff like that. It's not going to work, but it does help a little bit. And whether or not, just I would recommend allowing them anyway. Uh, it makes your place look better. So, Builders Club. Another thing to take in with Builders Club is that peep, every visit you get, you'll get 10 tickets instead of one. Basically, 10 times ratio. Um, again, you're going to lose more visits because, you know not that many people have Builders Club so you're going to lose visits. I recommend do not make your games Builders Club unless you're doing like an exclusive club or place or something like that. Builders Club does help with some places if you know what you're doing. So you click create place. Once you're done doing all that make sure you set up everything properly and now we have our place. We didn't give it a title or anything. So to make sure our place oh one more thing. To make sure your place is working and people can see it, make sure you put it as active. So yeah, as you can see, it's inactive. I'm not going to put mine active though because I have places that I want up there. So once it's active, you can test it out for yourself. And then 
um, to start your place out, you know, give it a favorite, start it out. Um, gear for your game, if somebody buys a gear right here on this thing, you'll actually get a commission for it. So if somebody buys a, I believe it's 10%, so if somebody buys like a skateboard for 100 R bucks, you'll get 10 R bucks out of that. And now, here's the big thing about gear for the game, is that why buy it off the market when you can donate to your friend a certain amount. So let's say you want to buy a gear that's 300 R bucks, and you're like, hey, I want to buy this on the catalog, which is most people do. And then what you should do, I know it takes longer, but what you should do is get one of your friends to put it on their game and then buy that gear off them. That way you get your gear for the same everything, but your friend gets some of that portion of the money, so why not do it? So you can make a huge benefit out of that. So passes for this game, that's basically like game passes. This is how a lot of people make most of their money off their places. So like VIP or bonus items. Don't make your game like really unbalanced or whatever unless you know it's that type of game. Um, don't make it pay to win either. People will feel cheated out and unfair. But this is that's how you make most of your money and get off the place visits and stuff like that. And also make sure you in game you can buy those game passes as well. That helps a ton. So advertise this place, put ads up, create a badge, not really important. Configure this game again, you can go back to your stats, stuff like that. And developer stats. Ooh, this is another thing too. This is kind of like YouTube analytics. Uh, so to get more detail for this, let's go to my uh, nature walk for instance, and then uh, developer stats. And da da da. So this tells you rid of by day. Oh, yeah, that's okay. So this tells you um, your revenue and daily stats by day and then you can do hourly or monthly. Uh, very important for developers to make sure like an update makes more visits or gets them less or whatever you do to your place. Um, you know, this can help you a lot if you can see what they're doing live or through an amount of history. And also we got Allery and actually a bunch of people visited my place a while ago. This is minutes and this, okay, I see. Somebody visited my place for 82 minutes, apparently. Jesus. Okay. So monthly. Oh, you have to download this, apparently. So download that if you want. So and that's pretty much it, guys, for the tutorial. Sorry if this is a bit too much information or it gets down too to the point way too much. But that's generally like a whole overview overview about like place creation and a lot of other extras for you guys. Um, please uh, make sure you share this and tell your friends about it or help out people that are wondering how to create a place or uh, wanting to make their place better and stuff like that. And also like make it more attractive and you know make it get out there more. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out. Give it a like if it helped you out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I got plenty of other tutorials to help you out. Also, please leave comments if you'd like. Uh, also, you can leave a comment about like what tutorials you would like or what you need help with. Uh, I usually respond to comments um, pretty quickly. So, again, thanks for watching. See you guys later, and I'll make some more stuff soon.